Minecraft is a game where you spawn into the world with absolutely nothing. You start by punching the trees next to you and use those trees to craft your very first tools. Then you use those tools to farm even more resources and get even better tools so you can collect more resources even faster and get even better tools to get even more resources and yeah you get the point. Anyways, just a personal opinion but I think farming resources is like really boring. Like I don't get it. When I play a game I want it to be fun and not like my part time job. Which is probably why I've never beaten Minecraft alone ever. But wouldn't it be amazing if you could take what makes Minecraft Minecraft and automate it? In this video, I attempt to make a mod that automates all the tedious tasks in Minecraft. As someone that has never made a Forge mod before, the task seemed really daunting. I had no idea where to start, but fortunately, I attempted to make a Minecraft client in the past, so I had some understanding of how the stuff worked. Link for the download will be in the description, so before I showcase- As a YouTuber on a schedule, I decided to limit myself to two commands, automatically farming wood and automatically mining. For the automatic wood command, I first made a function that scanned all the blocks in a certain radius around the player each tick. Then it returned the position of the closest wood block if there was one. Now I really thought the game would crash considering I have 3 loops within each other running every single tick but it turns out that it didn't even affect performance that much. With that out of the way, I then had to find a way to get to the wood block. Now if you played Minecraft you know that mobs can pathfind their way to certain positions perfectly. I wanted to use that technology to let my player pathfind their way to the wood block. I spent literally hours scrolling through forge forms, but all of them were either outdated or were just not relevant to what I wanted. So I tried the next best thing, teleportation. Now with this feature, the mod becomes extremely impractical, but at this point, I was willing to try it out. First, the mod teleports the player right next to the wood block. Then I had to somehow make the player look at the wood block. Fortunately for me, I paid attention in math class at school. Okay guys, past me decided not to record this part, so here I am in the middle of the night trying to explain some math. Okay, so here, we have a triangle. This, this right here is the block you want to look at. This right here is you. So, if you paid attention in class, what we want to do is we want to find the angle of depression. Depression, that's what I'm feeling every day. We want to find the angle of depression and pretty much just turn the player down by that much. So, you just take this, take this, and to find this, all you have to do is take the arc tangent of, wait, so katoa. Okay, take the arc tangent of x divided by y. And there, boom, you have this angle. Oh shoot, we wanted this angle. Okay, that angle. You take the arc tangent of y divided by x. There, math. Now it was actually working. The player would be teleported to a wood block and break it. But yet yeah, again, there was another problem. If the wood block was in the sky, then the player would keep falling while attempting to break the block, which wasn't exactly ideal. Since the mod has already gone to crap and there wasn't much more to lose, I decided to solve this by just placing a glass block under the player. Problem solved. The mining command was a lot easier than expected. All I really had to do was make the player walk in a straight line and hold left click, changing the direction the player was looking at each time they broke a block. And that was the mod. So while there are a lot of problems with this mod, considering it was my first ever Forge mod, it wasn't, well, terrible. Looking back now, I would have rewritten things in a different way to make things less messy and easy to work on. Also, I became more familiar with the Forge API, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. I used to have this preconceived notion that if you did something, it had to be successful and perfect, but honestly, as long as you learned something along the way, even if it failed, I guess it was worth the time. For example, my Bedwars YouTube channel. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, it would be nice if you could like and subscribe. It really does make a difference to me. See you in the next video. Later.